Before the total weights of options can be calculated, there is one more step remaining. We need to determine how important the criteria are in relation to each other. And this is done in the weighting step. So what is weighting all about? We will try to discuss this a little bit uh, using the friends again. And uh, the friends have evaluated their restaurant options and they have uh, some prices, some levels of quietness and the location. But from this table, it is not obvious which option is the best because it depends on which of these criteria is the most important for you. Is it the price that is more important, the location or the quietness? And for different friends, it might have different importance as well. And the outcome of where they are going to end up going will depend on the answer to the question. So if the location is the most important criteria or the only criterion, they are going to end up going to C. If quietness is the only criterion, they're going to end up going to B. And if uh, price and quietness is important, but they skip the location, then they're going to go to A. So the friends, they have to talk about it and uh, agree which is the most important criterion for them. And it is the same in the TNA process. And this is why the waiting procedure is so important. Sectoral working groups will be paramount for this step. And uh, the process will be facilitated by the consultant and the TNA coordinator. And this step involves a discussion and judgment on how important the criteria are. What it is most important for the consultant and the TNA coordinator is that they understand very well the framework behind this and what the required result is of this step. While the work groups will have the task of providing their judgment on the criteria. So the essence of the weighting of the criteria is to determine what the relative importances of the criteria are. And by importance, we mean importance to the decision, to the goals. Another way of looking at this is to ask the question of how much differences in option scores matter. And in this way, if the range of difference between the scores are low, it is probably worth putting a lower weight on something, on, on the criterion. There are different methods that can be used for assigning weights. They can simply be assigned equal weights or either statistical or participatory methods can be used. But because in the TNA it is so important to have judgment of the decision makers, we suggest that the budget allocation method is used, which is one of the participatory methods of defining weights. A little bit about the budget allocation. It is a participatory method and as the name says, it involves allocating a budget of 100 points divided to all the different criteria. The idea is that these 100 points, the way they are divided, they should account for stakeholder views and their opinions on the different criteria. You can compare that a bit in sharing a cake. Let's say you have a cake and you want to split it among these different criteria and let them eat it. So you could, you could discuss how much, which share of the cake we should provide to each of the criteria. And the way that the stakeholder opinions can be gathered can be either they can be noted anonymously using surveys or questionnaires. And then the facilitator, the consultant or the TNA coordinator can average them out. And another option is to organize a stakeholder discussion where the aim would be to arrive at a consensus in, on how this cake should be shared. It is important, no matter which option is chosen for accounting for stakeholder opinions, is that discrepancies should be noted. This is going to also be used in the sensitivity analysis. The fewer the criteria, the easier it is to assign weights, but criteria trees can also help. Show you some examples. So now it, the way you will weight them depends on whether you have all criteria on one level or you have a criteria tree. It is much simpler if you only have one level of criteria and few criteria. You then can take the cake and divide it directly among the criteria. For example, if you have these four criteria, you have your budget of 100, you can divide it directly between the four. But this can only work if you have a relatively small number of criteria. If you have more than four or five criteria, 
it is better if they are organized in a tree. And then the procedure will be stepwise. First, you will assign weights to the top level in the tree. Then you will assign weights to the criteria within each top level category. And you will follow this through until the bottom and the lowest level weights should add to 100. And I'll show an example for this as well. This is an example where there are categories and criteria. These criteria are organized in the categories in such a way that uh, most categories have two or three criteria in them, except the cost is a criterion on its own. So the first step is to assign weights to the top level, which is costs, economic, social and environmental impacts. And again, the budget of 100 is divided, for example, in this way. And the second step will be to assign weights to criteria within each of these categories. For example, economic impacts have two criteria, local economic benefits and local share of technology. And within this category, the stakeholders have decided that two thirds of the cake should go to the economic benefits and only one third to the local share of technology. And similarly to the other categories. At the end of the process, lowest level weights should add to 100. And how do you achieve that? You multiply the weight within category with the criteria category weight. And this would be the overall weight of each of the criteria. And as you see, they add up to 100. It would be more difficult to take all these eight criteria and try to decide how much cake should go to each one of them. Is direct employment more important than local share of technology? This is why it is good to do it in this three category way. So to summarize the weighting step, the final output of this step will be a set of weights for all your criteria. So now we have done the weighting. 